YouTube, we, uh, the last video I put out was really an attempt to draw somebody out. I want to make this video a warning uh, to everybody online. It's not a good idea to have YouTube and uh, not at least check it frequently. Uh, maybe you put a video out and, it, and then it's a good long time before you put another one out. That's completely fine, but I'm making a strong suggestion to just go check as frequent as you can, daily if you can, to uh, uh, make sure what's going on and do that with all social media uh, we were attacked last night by somebody that's got some severe very severe issues uh, when I put the video out I was so angered uh, but it turns out it was who I thought it was. And I talked to someone this morning, and that's another warning. Be careful what you do online because uh, the big thing today is you have your social media. Uh, let's say maybe I have a social media and a YouTube account like this one. Everybody knows who I am but maybe I get an extra two or three accounts and they got a letter, you know, the little circle with a letter in it or something silly just up there uh, on the ID badging thing and anonymously go around and do some very, very ugly things. So uh, we were a victim of that through the night last night and I pretty I, I gauge try to gauge people pretty good and what happens is they make mistakes they will go on other people's uh, YouTube accounts or Facebook or Twitter I guess or Instagram and things like that and they can easily be identified by things they say to different people. And you, you can easily put together who it is, and we easily put together who this was uh, this morning. I called a friend of mine in England. It turns out the, the, the person doing it was from the UK, from England. And uh, the person I called was, yeah, this is him. And it led me down another road, which gave me all the confirmation that I needed. Uh, some of the things the guy said and what he tipped off. And uh, this is how easily I caught, caught the guy. Uh, and he's gone. That account's gone now, thank goodness. And thank goodness YouTube replied very swiftly to it. And they put... To, well, I put the, added the two and two together and handed it. I handed them two plus two, and they got the four out of it. Uh, but the guy was complaining of insomnia and some other issues that he had. And then he was going on other people's accounts and saying, hey, if you get these couple of people, this is my brother and my few friends here and I've got them to sub to you. And he repeatedly went down the line doing that with several people, and it was the same guy. And come to find out that this one guy is all those guys. Uh, it's not a brother and his friends type deal, it's all him. Uh, this guy was on our YouTube for well over a year and always leaving positive good messages and then out of the blue last night uh, 
terrible things that I'm a terrible father and uh, <laughs> my son needs to get away from me and uh, he's just things with Joe and whoo it was a heck of a thing to wake up to this morning I've only had a problem with three or four people online my problems exist around me and it's one thing that guy said he said everywhere you go there's problems with you and he, that was one thing he said that wasn't a mentally ill statement that was very true because everywhere I go I expect people to act like it's 1962 not like it's uh, 2002 but like it's 1952 42, 52, or 62. So that means I don't bother you, you don't bother me. I got a lot of love in my heart for anybody and everybody that knows me knows I'd give the shirt off my back uh, to near about anybody. And, and we've been blessed with very good graciousness here lately and I think that's what set him off was somebody did something good uh, for us and I kind of put it out there and how thankful I was and I think that's what set him off and uh, I found out he's uh, in his late 30s he's still living at home with his mother no father and it's and he's got a lot of problems so really I'm not even mad at him but uh, you, you got to be careful online because you never know what you know uh, it could damage your character actually to other folks around you that are in the real world around you and the online social world around us is becoming the real world around us whether we want it to or whether we do not want it to. Uh, you know, everybody just looking online and people are online all the time. And uh, so it was a lot of damaging things that was said. I got to most of it before Joe got to it. I thank the good Lord for that. I was very heated this morning. Uh, but I kept saying, I think it's this one. I think it's this one. I got an assumption. And the assumption was right. And it was this guy. And this guy was one person. And it was easily, easily figured out and easily verified. Uh, but there's a lot of people online a lot smarter than that guy uh, that can harm us in many, many ways. So we gotta, we've got to always be careful. Be careful what we put out online. Be careful who we're dealing with. Uh, like I said, Joe and I have been so, so, uh, and my wife also, who's a school teacher, has been so, so lucky uh, online and uh, I really thank the good Lord for that and uh, with you know with few exceptions we've had some people get on us uh, back I'll say almost two years ago a guy that owns a gym I'm not going to name the, the name of the city uh but they've put out a bunch of great amateur uh, boxers. Uh, but this guy just started coming on. You got most of you guys know I have Parkinson's disease, so I, I used to could talk really, really good. But I, it's hard for me. I stutter a lot, and sometimes I get hung up and get off topic. And I'm an old man. Uh, but this guy came on, he's a head trainer and owner at a gym in a good sized city in Texas. And uh, he was repeatedly 
going after me. Uh, and truth is, once he found out who I, who I was, uh, he tried to back off, but it was a little too late because people in that area that did know me uh, that were from the, the same aura of schooling with a lot of the same people many, many years ago that I was from went to his gym and let him know you need to be asking this guy things. Uh, you ain't got it going on. And uh, his gym was trying to get some competitors up for amateur tournaments, and they all lost. And, uh, of course, I didn't tell them they were all going to lose because it was specific to a location and uh, specific, I mean, specific tournaments uh, but I knew them boys he was taking in there didn't stand a chance and nobody nobody that he had got by the first round and uh, I didn't feel the need to rub it in but he you know I, so I had a problem with that one guy it's very very all good now and uh, something came to mind and just popped right back out of my mind that I was going to tell you guys about but other than a couple of few instances, we've never had any problems online. But we all got to remind ourselves regularly to be very careful online because uh, you never know. Uh, look, you could, if you work in an office, let's say, for example, and let's say you go into work that morning and you let's say maybe you always go in work early or you work somewhere where you can just get online and you pop something up social media and you got two or three people standing there looking at your screen or walking by and looking at your screen and they see a bunch of ugly that somebody's uh, perpetrated against you uh, it can be very embarrassing it uh, I mean, nobody wants to go through things like that. So, But anyway, our situation was quickly, quickly taken care of today. I'm very thankful for that. Uh, I don't know what got into the guy's head. I know, I know he's got a lot of problems upstairs. But, uh, and really, I need to start thinking because a group of our online little round uh, blocked this guy out months ago and uh, I blocked him out too but I didn't remember and I wasn't thorough enough to get the, the brother and the friends blocked out so he's still been had been hanging on all along and still may be. He could have a hundred different accounts, you never know. So be careful online. I want to tell everybody never give your birth date online. Uh, I don't know how all this stuff works. I, I, it's beyond me, but uh, even generally when I get online and say, I, I had a birthday last week it may be next week that my birthday is going to be and i never give my age online i uh i'm probably as old as i look though <laughs> uh and i probably maybe look older than i am but uh i'm certainly as old as i look and that's pretty old but I never give the precise day, uh, my birth month, or the, uh, I give the month out. Everybody, I mean, a lot of people that watch know, would know the month, but I never give that exact day out, and I never give the, uh, the year out at all. So be careful with things like that, and be careful with what's going online. Much love to everybody. May the good Lord bless you all, and I hope everybody has a great, great 
rest of the three quarters of the week we got left to go through. Blessings, everybody.